Ghost Rider is brought to you in part by Nike, the company that believes every kid has the right to play. Ghost Rider's big bank capacity includes public television viewers like you, the few charitable trusts, the Corporation for Public Broadcasting, the Arthur Vining Davis Foundation, and the National Endowment for Children's Education and Television. They provide the cash flow, don't you know? We don't know where he came from. He just showed up one night. What is that thing? He's not an alien. What is he? We think he might be a ghost. Be serious. He wants to be friends with us. But he can't hear and he can't talk. He can read anything. He takes letters and he writes with them. We're the only ones who can see him. You have to promise never to tell anybody about Ghost Rider. We're the Ghost Rider team. We check out clues and solve mysteries. He's a ghost and he writes to us. Ghost Rider. cans for the recycling drive, I'll, I'll clean your room. Oh, no, I've got a book report on the Maltese Falcon due Monday. But Alex... I'm going to Jamal's to write it up on his computer. These hands have no time for cans. Sorry, Gab. Papa, would you like to help the environment and me by looking for some old cans to recycle? Oh, I wish I could, Gabriela, but with your mother away in El Salvador, I have a double workload. I'm sorry. It's okay. Everybody's busy when I need them. Ghost Rider! If he can do a word search puzzle, maybe he can help me search for some cans. Will you help me find cans to recycle for my school? Yes! Papa, I'm gonna go collect cans for my school. That's fine, you just be careful out there, right? Gabby, where's your school spirit? Don't be a chicken. Oh, Rex! <laughs> a bird! Hi, Katie. What are you doing here, huh? Brooklyn 
chicken. We make them, you bake them. Chicken? You've got an awfully big beak for a chicken. And I've never seen feathers like this on a chicken. You know something? You're no chicken. Aw, you poor bird. Why would anybody leave a sweet bird like you in a dumpster? Oh, you want to come home with Gabby? What has an eye but doesn't cry? A needle. Oh, that's a good one. <laughs> Welcome back, Casey. See ya. See ya. Right, see ya, Alex. So, Grandma, what's Casey doing here? Oh, Casey's just here for a little visit. <laughs> How little? Very little. Right, Grandma? Oh, now Casey's family, and she can visit as long as she likes. You want to help me with those suitcases upstairs? Sure. You coming, sweetie? In a minute. Oh, okay. Hi, Mommy. Pets are nothing but trouble. And besides, I can't have a bird flying around my store. I'll keep them in my room. That bird will make a mess. And who's going to have to clean it up? Me. I promise and I'll... birds eat a lot. And who's going to have to pay for the food, huh? Who? You. That's right. And I don't need another little beak to feed. But, Papa, can't I at least keep them until my mom gets back from El Salvador? I'll prove that I can take care of it all by myself. Please, Papa. <laughs> Gabriela. I promise you, I'll even put it in writing. This bird won't be any trouble at all. <laughs> some bad news and some good news. Hey, what's going on? 
I found the bird somebody left in a dumpster. Why would somebody throw a bird in a dumpster? Oh, that's a Maltese falcon. Huh? Your película, huh? Yeah, it was one of Humphrey Bogart's best movies. And a great book, too. I remember every one was after that little statue of the bird. All right, because it was filled with jewels. They would lie, cheat, steal, anything just to get their hands on that bird. Me too, Papa. I'll do anything. Please let me mm. keep him. Oh, come on, Papa. Mr. Shroffrey was made up. <laughs> Alejandro, I have made up my mind. And birds are nothing but trouble, huh? Oh, come on. Look at it. Nobody to take care of him. Come on, pet him, Papa. Feel how soft he is. <laughs> oh, I think he likes you. <laughs> yeah. OK, Papa, listen to this. I, Gabby Fernandez, promise to, one, give the bird food and water every day, two, clean up after the bird, three, keep the bird in my room. Cross my heart, Gabby. OK, Gabriela, you win. But if you don't take care of that bird by yourself, just like you said in that contract, it's bye-bye birdie. You put him back where you found him. Well, you want some bird seed? Good bird seed. Come on, you gotta eat. I promise I take care of you. What's the matter, guy not hungry? What's his name? I don't know. He didn't say. Ah, very funny. Hey, I got it. Why don't you name him Bogey or Sam Spade, like the character from the Maltese Falcon? What if it's a girl? Check and see. I can't tell if it's a boy or a girl from looking down here. That's weird. Then how are you supposed to find out? I don't know, Alex. But I got a bigger problem. It won't eat. What am I supposed to do? If I can't figure out what he eats, there's no way Papa will let me keep him. Maybe he eats worms. Oh, I hope not. Or fruits. You know, lots of birds eat fruit. They do? Yeah, different birds eat different things. Then if we figure out what kind of bird he is, we'll have a better chance of finding something he'll eat. B, B. Bats, bears, bees. There's got to be a section here on birds. Here! Wow, there are thousands of different kinds of birds. Man, they all eat different things. Plants, insects, fish, and nuts. <sighs> Poor thing must be starving. Hey, look at these beaks. Which one is like my birds? Raptor. Hey, Alex, maybe it's a raptor. Like a dinosaur? Remember raptors from Jurassic Park? No, not dinosaur raptors. Bird raptors, like this. Yeah, his beak does kind of look like that. Oh, yeah. Raptors are birds like eagles, hawks, and vultures, which eat meat. Yes! Hey, there's a hamburger in the refrigerator. Don't worry, baby. One burger, hold the pickles, hold the lettuce, coming right up. Hmm. Gabby. <laughs> Language, arts, composition. Why I like living in Fort Frayne. Aha. <laughs> oh, you're not gonna have that bird for long, little girl. Reggie. Well, 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 well. Look who's here. Oh, look what I made for my mom. Well, well that's real nice. Emmeline's gonna love that. Ah, uh, I hear your sister Cheryl just started college. How's she doing? Fine. Hey, guys. Hey, honey. Hey. Aren't you glad your cousin's back with us for a little while? Yeah, I guess so. Casey, you okay? Hey, why didn't anybody invite me to the party? Hi, Mama. How was your flight? Oh, fine. You all need to be dipped for fleas, or is this some new dance I haven't heard about? <laughs> Itchy. Twitchy. <laughs> gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Casey, 
What did you do? I put itchy powder on the doorknob and the banister. You what? I did, Jamal. It was just a joke. Do you see anybody laughing? What a pain. Stop it. She just got here, and already she's causing trouble. I didn't want to come here anyway. What? What? Oh, so now it's all my fault, right? Come on. Open your mouth. Mmm, good hamburger. Yummy. Mom, open your mouth. It's not a mouth. It's a beak. A huge beak. It doesn't matter how huge it is if you won't eat with it. What are you looking for? My memo pad. I want to make a list of things he won't eat. Where? Oh, I left it at the dumpster. Hey, this meat is cooked. So? So birds don't cook. Maybe he likes raw meat. Yeah! There's a steak in the fridge. Hey, Gabby. That's our dinner. Well, that's another thing you won't eat. How come you didn't bring any cans to recycle today? Because of this. ¿Qué es eso? It's a bird. How did it get so big? Was he hit by radiation or something? No, it's big because it's a big bird. I found him in a dumpster when I was looking for cans. And now I can't figure out what he eats. And if he doesn't eat, he's going to starve to death. Well, we already know that he doesn't eat bird seed, cooked hamburger, raw steak, tuna, cat food, or sausages. Maybe he's not hungry. Maybe he's sick. Maybe he's too scared to eat. Why not take him to a bird doctor? I didn't think of that. Yeah, but we have to take a bus and a train to get to the veterinarian. And then we're going to need money. Uh-oh. Papa doesn't want to spend any money. What about that Calvin guy? Doesn't he have a bird? His bird died, but he still knows a lot about birds. Maybe he can help us. No way. Not after what that guy's done to me and the team. I don't trust that sleazoid. And besides, I don't want that rat in our room. Sorry, Alex, but this is my room now, and I'm desperate. If Papa's gonna let me keep the bird, I have to figure out a way to feed him. So I have to call Calvin. Wow. What a beauty. I love this bird. I, I can't believe you found him in a dumpster. Well, I did, Calvin. Now, are you gonna help us find out what he eats or not? I'll help but only because I love birds. Thanks. So far, we found out he won't eat bird seed, cooked hamburger, raw steak, tuna, cat food, or sausages. But we're pretty sure he's a meat eater, like a hawk. That shows what you know. There are 8,600 different kinds of birds. Whoa. And they eat different things. So if we want to find out what he likes, we have to figure out what family he belongs to. This book I brought along will help us identify him. Let's start by checking out his beak, feathers, and feet. Look, this bird has a numbered band on its foot. So? So, this may be a clue to its real owner. I'm the real owner now, Calvin. He sure sounds hungry. What do we need to find out? Uh, what kind of bird he is and what does he eat? If you look at his beak, uh, it isn't exactly like this. The raptor beaks are longer and thinner. Yeah, and they have more of a point. My bird's beak is bigger, and it looks a lot more powerful, too. There it is. That looks more like him. This part is bigger, and it curves down more. 
Yeah, like a parrot. No, 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 no. No, you're talking to the parrot expert. Parrot's feathers are bright colors. Yellow, red, yeah, you're right. blue, green. Never seen a black parrot before. Maybe we should look for another clue. OK, OK. What about feet? Hmm, let's see. He has two toes pointing forward and two pointing back. My parrot Attila had that, too. He was great at climbing. Those toes can grab and Tree branches. All right. But just because he has feet like Attila does not mean he's a parrot like Attila. Parrots, toucans, cockatoos, they all have those kind of feet. But the only bird with feet like this and the beak like this is a parrot. He has to be. A black parrot? Wow. <laughs> Amazing. I've never seen a black parrot before. Now that we know he's a parrot, we can find out what to feed him. Don't worry, baby. Gabby's going to feed you and feed you and feed you until you're all stuffed. Uh-oh. Close the door. Did you wash off all of that itching powder? <laughs> yes, sir. Sir, Jamal, relax. We only want to talk. About Casey? Yeah. And why she's come to stay with us. Has Aunt Emmeline been getting drunk again? Yes. Your grandmother finally got Emmeline to admit that she has a serious drinking problem. She's an alcoholic. And she's agreed to go into the hospital where she can get help. You know, I'm proud of my little sister for that. I don't get it, though. Why doesn't she just stop drinking? Or not drink so much? She knows it's not good for her. It's not that simple. She has a sickness. Emmeline takes one drink, and it leads to more and more drinking. She can't stop. Alcoholism is a disease, but there are doctors and counselors who know how to help people with this problem. Does Casey know what's going on? I'm pretty sure she knows her mother drinks too much. But she's scared, and she needs us to be there for her. Now, when Casey settles in, we'll sit her down and talk to her about it. Emmeline is very sick. It may be a day or two before she's well enough to talk on the telephone. Man. I didn't know it was that serious. Well, it is. And Casey may be with us for a while. We need to give Emmeline all the support we can. And the best way we can do that is by taking care of Casey. No matter how itchy things get. Wow. <laughs> 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 all right. Here's the parrot section. Parrot bills are adapted for cracking open large, tough nuts parrots' favorite foods. They also eat vegetables, big seeds, and fruits. Not meat? It says only rarely. I hate to admit it, Gabby, but you're a pretty good scientist. Thanks. Scientist? This isn't science. We're studying a bird that's a science. It's called ornithology. Hello? Anybody in there? Yeah, somebody who thinks you're a jerk. Well, hello, Alex. Long time no see. Uh, well, hello, Hula Head. The longer the better. Hey, Gab, I got these nuts from Bodega. See if he'll eat them. He's eating it. All right. Look at how he uses his beak to crack the nuts. It's the perfect shape. And he uses his feet to hold it, just like hands. Why, why don't you let me take the bird to my house for the night? I'd like to uh, stu study him some more. There are so many unanswered questions. <laughs> And, and taking care of parrots isn't easy. They're like little babies and need constant care and attention. I'm willing to make that sacrifice. No, Calvin. But I have... No buts, Calvin. Get your own bird. <laughs> it's okay. Grandma helped me wash it off. See? Good. Grandma told me to say I'm sorry, but I was going to say it even before she told me to. I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm sorry too, Casey. Forgive me? Forgive you. <laughs> dinner? Anybody hungry? Yeah, be there in a sec, Grandma. <laughs> you want to play some catch after dinner? Yeah. All 
ride. Oh, he's so cute. I wonder how old he is. I don't know, but it says in here that some parrots can live to be 60 years old. <laughs> that means we're going to be together for a long time. Unless he's 59. <laughs> Honey. No worries. No worries? Hey, he can talk. I didn't know. <laughs> this is so cool. <laughs> I'm going to teach him to say my name. Hey. Oh. Está pasando aquí, huh? He can talk. My bird can talk. No worries. No worries. Oh, great. Maybe now you can tell us where you belong, huh? No, papa. He's mine. What's this band for? I don't know. Maybe that tells who his owner is. Gabriela, why didn't you show me that before? It's just a number. I didn't think it was a big deal. Well, it might be a license or a, some kind of a registration number, a talking bird with a number around its leg. Somebody must be looking for it. Yeah, why don't we make flyers saying we found it? Oh, yes, yes, yes. That's a very good idea. And yeah, you can hang them up around the neighborhood. Good. If nobody comes to claim him, then he's yours. In the meantime, I expect you to make some flyers tomorrow, huh? I'll help you, Gabby. Mr. Poulet, I'm convinced it's a girl named Gabby. I found her memo pad near the dumpster where I stashed the bird. Is that supposed to impress me, Ms. Hawk? Oh, but, but, but look what she wrote. I found a bird, and I'm going to keep it. Where is she? Where has she taken my bird? I'm not exactly sure, but I do know that she goes to a school in Fort Greene, and that her school is sponsoring a recycling drive, so all I have to do is find the school, and her goose is cooked. <laughs> Your culinary comment leaves me cold. Now find that girl and bring me my bird! Right! Ghost Rider is brought to you in part by Sega. Ghost Rider is brought to you in part by Nike, the company that believes every kid has the right to play. Ghost Rider's Big Bank Posse includes public television viewers like you, the Pew Charitable Trusts, the Corporation for Public Broadcasting, the Arthur Vining Davis Foundation, and the National Endowment for Children's Educational Television. They provide a cash flow, don't you know?